On this Veterans Day, we are asking you to help a local organization helping save the lives of our veterans. Canines for Warriors pair service dogs with military veterans who are dealing with issues like PTSD. And the great news about this nonprofit is that it has a 99% success rate at preventing suicides, a 99% success rate. So you can help right now by picking up the phone and donating, or you can text, you see it right there at the bottom of your screen. Since 2011, more than 700 have graduated from the program, but the wait for a dog it's just too long, and that's why they need to expand. And so that's where you can help. First Coast News anchor Jeannie Blake Blaylock is joining us live. Uh, Jeannie, we're hoping to raise a lot of money today for Canines for Warriors. And we are on a roll, folks. We got to show you something. Though I am so honored here to have all these military veterans with us. It's Veterans Day. Don't you think they deserve a standing ovation? I think so. Yay! <laughs> From that excitement over there to the Blue Board, CEO Rory Diamond of Executive Director. I think we should pull that drape and see where we stand right now. You guys ready to see a total so far? All right, here we go. Drum roll. So far, you all have donated, woohoo, $257,903. That is great. Good job, everybody. And do please keep calling in because whatever you give now will be doubled. If you donate $50, you're really giving $100. Whatever you can give, please do. Greg Wells here. Now, to me, half the fun of this is the name of the dog. Your dog, your dog, your dog. I love the dog's names. Can you introduce the dog? Yes, so I have with me Utah, and then next we have Buddy, Sigma, Dino, Janice, Bobby, Winston, and Henry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is fantastic. Henry, we love Henry. Well, you know, it's great to see these dogs' names, but I will tell you that I have met a dog with a very, very, very unique name, probably the most unique name of all the dogs I've met over the last 10 years. And it really is just right because his veteran holds a unique program stance with Canines for Warriors. Oh, you got to introduce him. What's his name? This is Luce. A dog named Luce. L-O-O-S-E. Named after another veteran. Luce the dog. That's a first for me, but it's perfect for Dave Wood. He is a first as well. Uh, I'm ecstatic. Canines for Warriors now expanding to pre-9-11 veterans. Dave is the first veteran in this program from the Vietnam War. I was in Anke, Bong Song, LZ Uplift. 1967, Dave enlisted. Quinion. 1968, Purple Heart, his leg shattered in a firefight. Cameron Bay, which was... 1971, second tour in Vietnam, flew a Huey helicopter. 1,200 hours combat flight. 1995, retired, Lieutenant Colonel. 28 years of service to our country, and now at age 73, he's still haunted with dark memories. Even this interview is hard. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh, no, but you don't seem nervous. I look at you and I see your eyes smiling. Well, it's because of him. <laughs> Luce trained for months before Dave even met him. Luce, my lap, come on, my lap, come on, my lap. There you go. <laughs> And you could see the bond already. He's made me calmer. One of the things I've noticed is the last two days I've forgotten to take my medicine. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. That's great, though. Yeah. How yeah. many pills are you taking today? Well, uh, honestly, yeah? uh, probably about eight pills a day. Pills because Dave deals with depression and yeah, panic attacks. It's like having a heart attack. Even thoughts of suicide. Oh, I, it came pretty close at one time. He was on a road. And I'm going about 90 miles an hour and I'm looking at that bridge pillar. And I didn't do it, so. Well, thank goodness, because now Luz has a daddy. Yeah, he sure does. <laughs> and Dave needs his new battle buddy because PTSD is one heck of a long war.
And Dave and Luce, we appreciate your sharing your story. It's so good to have the Vietnam veterans as part of this program now. Something's happening over there. Come on, let me see. All right. Oh, boy, a big, big fat check here. Look at this, $75,000. Woohoo! From Tioga. This company has a lot of veterans that work with them. It's the 75th anniversary of Tioga. So $75,000, that will double. That will double. Thank you so much. And y'all, please keep calling in with your donations. And if you're thinking, well, I see all these dogs. I love the dogs, and we respect the warriors. But where would my money go? What would my money do? Well, let me show you. Let me take you to the Mega Kennel Construction Site. It's right off of US-1, off a of racetrack road. And they're building this huge mega kennel so we can train more wonderful, perfect dogs. They really are perfect like this. And so we can save more lives. Here's a sneak peek. We are at the construction site of the new mega kennel with Rory Diamond, the executive director here of Canines for Warriors. And you would kind of call it like a doggy hotel training center, right? Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. This is literally going to be not only the world's largest rescue dog training center, but the nicest with the best technology. The dogs will be super happy here. And speaking of dogs and protecting their paws, what's going to be out there? Yeah, so mm -hmm. all the way out here, you're going to have dog runs so the dogs can get in and outside anytime they want. There will be literally the newest technology of dog turf so that they won't burn their paws. It'll keep them happy and healthy, no diseases in there. So you're going to see stuff here that you won't see anywhere else in the country. Okay. Correct. How much is this going to cut down on the waiting list? So it'll go from four years to two years. So you can imagine waiting four years for a dog. That's much too long. So we're trying to get it down to two yeah, years. That's actually dangerous for some Correct. of these vets. And uh, we're hoping to open it in, in March of next year or so. <laughs> early, year. early spring 2022, we can do it. <laughs> I'm laughing right now because I just asked if any of these dogs have a tickle spot. And tell me your dog's name again. Sigma. 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 Let's see your tickle spot. Oh, there you go. There's that back leg. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's just so much fun to have them around. And when you're having a nightmare or a night terror and the dog wakes you up, I talked to somebody today. They said that their wife woke up and said, you know what? Your dog is lying on top of you to comfort you, just like a comfort blanket. Is that not cool? So please call in and donate 682-1902. Jeannie Blaylock, First Coast News, on your side, live at Canines for Warriors.